What is going on you guys? Rochelle here, bringing you a new pixel art tutorial today. I will be showing you a new software called Piscale. Alright guys, so Piscale is a free software that is available in both online and offline modes. I like to use the online mode because they have the same feature set but you can access your creations from anywhere, not just locally. This is the first page of Piscale. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. You can start a new project by just clicking create a sprite and that'll take you to this screen. So Piscale is really cool because it has a lot of tools that are specific to pixel art. On the left side you can see all of the tools that it provides and I'll start covering some of those, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail so I don't bore you guys to death. So the first tool is the pen tool and that just draws your straight lines. The next tool is a vertical mirror pen, but you can also switch it to be a horizontal mirror pen, as well as reflecting over both horizontal and vertical axes. The next tool is a paint bucket, and the tool after that, which is pretty cool, is a tool that allows you to paint all the pixels of one color the new foreground color. After that is the eraser tool, a stroke tool, which allows you to draw straight lines, a rectangle tool, which just draws you a rectangle, and a circle tool, which draws you a circle. And then you have a move tool, so you can drag around images that you've already created. A shape selection tool, which tries to automatically decide what kind of shape that you wanted to select instead of having to select it with a lasso. A rectangular selection tool, a lasso selection tool. This next tool is pretty cool. It's called Lighten and it allows you to add highlights and shadows to your creation without actually having to manually change the colors and it allows you to apply it multiple times per pixel or one at a time depending on the keys you hold while using it the next tool is also pretty cool it's a dithering tool for those of you who don't know what dithering is it's a way for you to add shadows to your pixel art so that it blends nicely obviously there's multiple ways to add shadows but dithering is one of the techniques and this will automatically dither for you between the foreground and the background color. And the last tool is a color picker tool, which is pretty straightforward. On the top, you have the different pen sizes that you can use, so you can just easily click that to change that. You can add new frames if you were to make an animation, and your animation is shown live in the top right corner. You can click this little onion, and that'll show you onion skin on your frames. And you can change this slider, and it'll change how fast your animation plays back to you. It also has layers, which is pretty much the same as you'll see in GIMP or Photoshop. It also has the ability to transform layers, such as flipping them, rotating them, and cloning them to all frames. And another really cool tool is palettes. So it allows you to create new palettes, but it also keeps track of all of your current colors. So if you're using, you know, blues and greens, you'll easily be able to select them without having to use a color picker tool. You can also name the palettes and add and remove colors. So that's also pretty cool. You can use it on multiple projects. On the far right, you'll see an area where you can change the background, show or not show a grid, change layer opacity, resize the canvas, and change the default size of the canvas. It also gives you a lot of options for saving. You can save it to an online gallery, you can save it offline to your browser, but it'll only be accessible through this browser, or you can save it as a Piscale file, as well as export as a PNG, a zip file, or a GIF. And with the GIF, they also give you the option to have a public link so that you can just copy paste that to your friends or whoever needs it and then obviously with those save options there's a way to load them up so that you can keep editing them after that and when you save your files online you actually have the ability to save them either publicly or privately so you can share your creation with the world or if it's something that you want to keep to yourself you can keep it to yourself you can see what creations you have by clicking on the public private or all tabs and that will show you either all of your pixel art, the public ones, or the private ones, so that's a pretty cool little feature. It's also an open source project, so if you wanted to see a feature created, you can go ahead and add a request for features, as well as help the development of the program if you have that knowledge. Alright, so that about wraps it up for this week's tutorial. If you guys want to check out this site, again, you can check the description below, I put the link there. I hope you guys enjoy this software as much as I do, it's pretty neat, especially for being free. I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please don't forget to give this video a like. If you guys have any suggestions for tutorials that you'd like to see me make, I'd be happy to make them if I have the expertise in it, so leave me a comment below, and subscribe if you'd like to see more coding or pixel art tutorials. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.